Hey guys, welcome to another Domain Hunter Gatherer tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating our own list of domains for checking availability of. Now, you might want to create a list of domains if you, for instance, wanted to find a, a short domain, say a three or a four letter domain uh, on a specific uh, TLD, or you might want to create a list of domains, say for your um, car sales yard. You might want to make sure that a domain has the, either the word car or van or truck, for example, along with maybe a two digit number at the end. So we're going to look at creating that sort of list today. Now this can all be done from within Domain Hunter Gatherer and we can do it by clicking on the create list button here. And this is going to bring up a new window. Now there's three sets of controls here. We've got uh, the controls to add individual or multiple uh, characters, either numbers, letters, which is split into vowels, consonants, or all letters, or and or hyphens. We can enter in uh, a absolute text, so for example, cars, or uh, spun text, so we can enter in cars, separator, Bands, spin it like that, we'll remove that part from the pattern and also we can choose our TLDs so you can either select com for example or for .com or we can enter in our own ones so say you were had a French car website and you wanted it to be based on either the .fr or the .eu uh, domains so you can do them separated by comma. So you've got FR or EU. So what this will do is, this will output all domains with cars, van or vans, then the uh, TLD that you've chosen. So what, we, what we're gonna also do is say that we're happy for our TLD to be followed by, um, say a two digit number. So we're going to select two characters to add, or you know the amount of characters to add is two, and then we're going to choose numbers. Make sure that the the range is set from zero to nine, and then we're going to add that to the pattern. So we'll see now we have these are just the examples, by the way. There's ten examples that will be output to the example outputs here, and it's just it can be used as like a preview to see what sort of domains will be output when you click the output button. So let's assume that we're happy with that for now. We want all cars and van domains with two numbers at the end, followed by either the .fr or .eu domain. So then we're gonna click on the output file and then we're going to call the file cars, vans, hyphen 2n for the two numbers hyphen fr hyphen eu and then we're going to output that and that's done very quick so then from here that that's given us a list of So from here, that's given us a list of domains. See, I load it up here. And it's gone through, it's given us all domains with cars, followed by a two digit number, and then an fr or .eu domain name. As we scroll down, we see the numbers increasing. So it's just going through each option sequentially, outputting every one. So we'll see that there's 400 domains. So you've got 100, uh, or cars with the numbers 0, 0 to 99 which is 100 with the .fr and then cars 0, 0 to 99 with the .eu domain and then there's also 100 vans the number .fr .eu and so on so then from with that list we can then go into the expired domains expired domain hunter tab and then we can go to the hunt from websites option 
uh, tab and then we can set the crawl levels to zero because we don't want to be doing any crawling we just want to be checking them for availability so we're going to leave them set at zero and before we start the list uh, start checking the list we're just going to make sure that in the settings tab we have the option for get domain stats automatically disabled because we don't want to be wasting time uh, checking the stats of short or brandable domains because the, the main value in those domains is the name themselves either the fact that it's short or the fact that it has your keyword so the stats of the domains generally are secondary and when you're creating larger lists I mean this is only 400 domains so it's quite a small list but you can easily be outputting lists of 1 million or more domains uh, you don't want to be wasting a huge amount of time on every domain checking for the stats and you also don't want to use up all of your DOM detail credits on a single run um, on a bunch of domains that you're probably not interested in the stats anyway so we're going to make sure that the get domain stats automatically option is disabled and make sure that we apply the settings and then in the expired domain hunter tab we're going to make sure that the crawl levels are set to zero and then we're just going to load in the file so we've got cars vans 2n FREU and you see it's going to load in all of the domains and then it's going to check them for availability so out of that list of 400 there is 294 available quite easy quite quick so then now I've shown you that I'm going to show you how to check for short domain names okay so say you wanted to check all um, .fr domains that have just three characters now you might want to check just for letters say uh, uh, you're, you're targeting uh, say business acronyms so you want to check all all sorry so we're gonna set it at three because we want three three character domains we want three letters so we're gonna set it three letters and then for the TLD we're going to set as FR so we're going to add that pattern then we're going to get a list of all three letter domains so we're going to call this one 3L-FR I'm going to save that file and that's already created that and I'll show you the, the list see it's gone through sequentially started at AAA and then it's gone to AAE it's not missed out B because it does uh, the vowels first and then the consonants so it does AAA AAE AAI AAO AAU and then gets to AAB and so on and it will go down incrementing each one every time till it's output the whole list and in this instance the whole list is 17,576 domains so we're going to take that list and we're going to clear here and then we're going to start the job and you'll see that DHG quickly is checking the availability of these domains and it's already finding that there are a lot lot of three letter .fr domains you know? so I'm going to wrap up there that that shows how to create a list of domains quite quickly and easily in DHG so that you can find short domains or um, domains with a specific keyword in them so I hope that's been helpful if you've got any questions by all means post them in the the comment section below or if you want to get noticed that little bit quicker you can send in a support ticket uh, via the members area at domainhuntergatherer.com forward slash member uh, link will be in the description below and uh, have a great day